Uh, so I'm going to fly through these relatively quickly. It's more just to, as you see, paint a, a picture, a snapshot of who we are, and I'm happy to have a you know conversation after the events. Um, but uh, very very excited about participating and and all that you're trying to do. Quite frankly, you're 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 all heroes. Quite frankly, so um, so we've been in the market uh, about two years, uh, although we've received quite a bit of recognition, which is very exciting. Our focus is all on trying to optimize drug delivery and health outcomes, which is what we've been recognized for. Um, we've created a platform that is hyper-focused on intranasal delivery. Um, as you can see here, we consider it a platform because it has the ability to deliver multi-route, meaning we can deliver a drug locally within the no nose, systemically, and then also nose to brain in a very unique way that you'll see. We're also agnostic uh, to the type of drug. And so whether it's a small molecule, a large molecule, a psychedelic, the device doesn't particularly care. Um, we consider it a platform, not only because we can interface multi-route, multi-drug, but also because the device itself is patented and configurable. And it allows us a lot of latitude to operate. So unlike uh, most pharmaceutical companies that tend to run from patented drug, drugs that are off patent, we have a unique position where it doesn't matter to us whether the drug, the compound, it could be a nutraceutical, um, is patented or not. Because once we combine it with a device, we have a patented combination. If we look downstream with nanotechnologies that are focused on you know, next generation, unique ways of optimizing drug delivery around absorption and distribution, um, again, whether they're patented or not, it doesn't particularly matter to us. And so we're in a unique position to really combine those two. The one thing I really like to emphasize, because we, I'm going to talk a lot about intranasal delivery, and I know you all have as well, um, I think we all recognize it's a unique uh, environment and platform to deliver a drug. But what I'd like to kind of reinforce is that what's most relevant is delivering the drug to the point of administration. So there are lots of examples of where there are best in class drugs that can effectively get um, through the body and particularly to the brain uh, because of a lot of physiological barriers. And we're going to cover that in a minute. Even if you combine a best-in-class drug with a best-in-class nano uh, particle system, again, the absorption and distribution, the A and the D, only begins at the point of administration. So it really fundamentally comes down to you've got to have a platform that allows you to interface with best-in-class drugs to deliver to the optimal point of administration to then utilize advanced nanoparticle systems all integrated together to really maximize drug delivery and health outcomes. And that's the platform that we've built. Um, I think a logical question is, you know, do we know anything about the nose? Um, on a good day, I can smell nose. On a bad day, I can't. Um, but the good news is the rest of the team uh, certainly can. So if you look on the, the bottom left-hand side, the other founders of Neosinus Health, between the two of them, they have over 50 years of experience. They're ear, nose, and throat surgeons. Uh, they've seen well over 100,000 patients. They know the nasal anatomy very well. They know the deficiencies of the existing devices. They know the complexity of having to navigate in a relatively complex anatomical space. In the middle, uh, Dr. Rice is a preeminent, world-renowned um, surgeon, uh, a pioneer in the field. Uh, his, his, his credentials are literally about 40 pages long. Um, there's no one in the world that knows the nasal anatomy as well as him. Uh, but we didn't just stop with the anatomy. What we realized is that, honestly, physics, um, as fluid dynamics, for example, uh, are critical to understand as well as it relates to where in the nasal anatomy can it go, how can it go, things such as friction, dispersion, diffusion, those sorts of things are critical concepts. And so we work with someone who's internationally renowned scientist for NASA. It may seem a little counterintuitive that we'd have someone from NASA on our advisory board, but he played a huge role, quite frankly, in helping us, again, understand not only the nasal anatomy, but how to optimize the platform to target the drug delivery. So for us, we are hyper-focused on really maximizing therapeutic value and therefore health outcomes. And I think a lot of us know, and I'll paint a little bit more into the detail here, but on the left-hand side, as you see, you know, there are substantial um, you know, physiological barriers that have impeded drugs, particularly to the brain, for many, many decades. It's why the drug development pipeline is so weak and deficient. Um, it's not always something wrong with the drug. It's actually the body. It's the physiological impedance that's adversely affecting the delivery of that drug. And so even if you were to kind of optimize that, there's still unfortunately side effects and we know that, right? And so imagine a world by which you can not only 
optimize and in some cases even bypass physiological impedance, but also eliminate those side effects, even if they're delivered IV or a needle, it still goes systemic. It still hits your major, major organs. It still has to make its way uh, to the brain. Even if you have a, a nasal device that exists today, um, the existing devices, because of the inferior design it will get into, still cause nosebleeds, bad taste. Uh, those are negative side effects that come up in clinical trials and are problematic. And we've 100% clinically shown to eliminate those. So on the right-hand side, we believe that you have, if you have a platform such as we have, that can optimize the delivery and targeting and also have configurability to further optimize that, what you're gonna get is an amazing outcome. And the bottom pictures are an illustration of that. 